Tim W. was named this morning. Uh, uh, actually, the first warning was issued uh, uh, this morning, and uh, this afternoon uh, we have uh, gone to a, a tropical storm warning. That's because the uh, damaging winds are predicted to uh, to come across the island sometime tomorrow. Uh, probably going to be uh, late tomorrow and uh, tomorrow night. The close point of approach of the storm will be uh, right now at 8 o'clock tomorrow night, but that could change. Right now the uh, predictions are for it to slowly move toward the uh, northwest and, uh, and sometime tomorrow produce uh, damaging winds over the area. It's got probably going to be a lot of rain and uh, there's a potential for flash flooding. People should stay out of the, the waterfalls and the, uh, the uh, rivers and uh, and uh, be ready to uh, to uh, move if in fact uh, flash floods do develop. We don't expect mudslides at this time because uh, it takes quite a bit of rain to produce mudslides, but we'll keep you posted. As the storm moves north and northwest, uh, it's eventually going to come into radar range and we'll have a much better idea where the center of the storm is. We'll be updating the warnings every three hours and once it gets in with the Within uh, radar range, we'll be putting out information every hour. Uh, as far as uh, what people should do, you know, for damaging winds, minimal damaging winds, we people should uh, pick up loose items outside their house, and uh, they also should uh, batten down uh, canopies or take canopies down. Uh, these winds uh, will uh, destroy canopies that aren't uh, uh, well attached or uh, or removed. How fast do you think they're going to be? The winds? Mm -hmm. I think 40 miles an hour probably with gusts to 50. So uh, again, damaging winds, not destructive winds, but uh, they will uh, blow things around and, uh, and they, they can do some minor damage to people's property. Is there a certain point uh, tomorrow or a certain time from this period now that we'll know when the storm, when we're clear from the storm completely, or still have to be cautious about. Well, unfortunately, the storm's moving pretty slowly, so as long as the storm's moving slowly, it's going to be in the area for quite a while. So, damaging winds are going to probably pick up tomorrow afternoon, and then last through the night. Okay, so uh, maybe into Friday morning. So, but if it starts to accelerate, move faster out of the area, then it'll get away. Uh, get away faster but as it moves to the northwest it's going to drag this monsoon tail over the top of us and that's going to give us uh, more wind and rain so we'll just have to see how things look as the storm uh, uh, moves away. Typhoon Warning Center's also got it intensifying uh, uh, a little bit more rapidly than it probably will intensify especially at the 24 hour point so maybe 36 hours uh, yeah it'll start intensifying uh, much faster. So, uh, but still, you know, they, they're bringing uh, uh, destructive winds close to us uh, late, late on uh, Thursday night and Friday. So uh, we'll have to just keep an eye on that. Right now we're looking for damaging winds, 39 mile per hour. Thursday night or Wednesday, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, tomorrow night or Thursday night? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So Wednesday night it's, and Thursday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Wednesday night and Thursday. So uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow there'll be uh, uh, periods of uh, strong gusty winds and uh, and squalls moving through, and uh, we'll be giving updates during the day. So uh, it's a good idea to keep track because, uh, like I said, we're putting out new information every three hours, and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, be able to update that more frequently once the system gets within radar range. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm.